education through conservation is kind of our message. We want you to have an educational experience when you come and interact with our animals. And everything is hands-on, so you really get to learn about them up close and personal. We also do a lot of endangered species breeding and things like that as well. Which made them seem like an interesting match with the message of environmental sustainability that is part of the preserve's mission. We invited them to come to the preserve to get to know us, to get to know what we stand for, and to see if there could be a partnership. That includes the added attraction of their global perspective on wildlife conservation. So this is Lunesta. Lunesta is a two-toed sloth. These guys are also from South America. Um, the Springs has our native species covered. You can learn all about everything in Southern Nevada, but these animals, even though they might not be from here, there's a lot we can do here in Southern Nevada to, you know, further the species and help these guys out in the wild. They've done their part by giving all kinds of wild things a home and some hope at their zoo in Moapa. Now they're sharing these species with us here at the preserve. Some of them are imported. The armadillos were actually imported from the wild. Um, there was nine left in captivity, I believe, and Paraguay decided, okay, we probably need to do something about this because uh, they're not living in the wild as well, and maybe we need to start some sort of captive breeding program. So they allowed for the importation of some of their armadillos back into the United States. And we also are one of the only places that can breed the brush-tailed beotong, which is a small species of kangaroo. Uh, and we also breed ring-tailed lemurs. While this captive breeding program is essential to their survival, it's seeing and being with these animals that will make audiences into believers about the need to save them. You'll be able to come and learn how to pet a porcupine. You'll be able to have um, an anteating contest with an anteater, watch a, a binturong climb a tree, see a sloth up close and personal. Because the finale of every weekend and holiday show will give preserved guests a chance to really get to know a wide variety of these unique superstars. They will be doing two shows for about 40 minutes where they will interact with the audience. They'll bring out their animals, um, four to six animals. They'll rotate those animals so you will get to see sloths, the otter who's very, very cute. And then if the audience would like, they can go afterwards and have a more intimate one-on-one -on -one with, with the animals. Even the experts at the preserve were as enchanted as the kids by their interaction with all these rare species. We were able to get a preview of what the show is going to look like and honestly people have never seen any of these animals but then to touch these animals and then to have the animals climbing a sloth hanging upside down on the bars going down into the amphitheater or the otter running around and just you know holding it to see the armadillos. People were laughing, people were so engaged. And that may be the best way of educating advocates who will do their part to protect these animals and their habitats both locally and globally. It's up to us to learn as much as we can about these animals. You may not be able to go to South America and crusade to save the rainforest, but if you learn about these animals here, then we can know what we need to do to save them there. I know that when they hear anything about these animals in the wild, they're gonna wanna be involved because they've seen one, they've touched one. Hey, I got to see that and I know all about it too, which is just so exciting to watch that spark. <laughs>